in 45 minutes. Oh, wow. We're, we're <laughs> what? Um, he's over there. <laughs> feel, feel for something in front of you with your hand. Put the plate on there. Put the plate on top of it. Good. Now let go of the plate. <laughs> you, you have lines on you. Ew. No, it just the camera makes it look like that. Jordan, what? Introduce the show. Okay. Wait, are we ready? Yeah. Uh, here I'll do it. Okay. Video me. <laughs> so we are ghost hunters, and we're trying to find all the ghosts in this dark, abandoned theater building. It's not abandoned if there's yes, ghosts. Yes, it is. I am scarred. It's fine. I'm using my secret weapon. All right, it is me, Parker, and Anders. Hey. And today we're gonna go find some ghosts because there was a disturbance at the Briggs yeah, Opera House. All right. Well, I heard noise. You're so fun. I'm. I'm so scared. Hi. Can't find it. We're, yeah, we can't. Right, we're scared. <laughs> we're on mission. Find the spirits. We're gonna rip apart this stage if we need to. Don't go in there. Don't oh. shine the light. Keep on going. All right, Ghost Hunters United. Let's go. And welcome to Jam Camp News. I'm your news anchor, Parker Golub. And I'm your other news anchor, Kai Allen. Breaking news! A, a 4chan user has posted a picture of a Burger King employee who put their feet in a bucket of Burger King lettuce. This phenomenon is known as Burger King foot lettuce. If you don't want the Burger King foot lettuce in your Burger King burger, well, that's, that's too, too bad. bad. You're, You're gonna, gonna get, get it anyways. Womp, womp. More breaking news. So, um, there is a war going on between the Duck, the Quack Nation, and the Alligator Union. They're fighting for, uh, they're fighting on a land we don't know yet. We are trying to figure that out. We, f we sent a field uh, reporter uh, down there to go see where where they are. Um, hi, I'm New Field Reporter, and right now there's a war between the ducks and the alligators. N no one quite knows how it happened, but the ducks declared war on the alligators um, 27 minutes ago. Um, and it seems like the alligators are winning, and experts um, think that Unless the ducks um, invent new technologies quickly, the alligators will win in exactly three days, two hours, 40 minutes, and 33 seconds. So, yeah. Um, uh, be sure to avoid all ponds since that is where most of the battles are going on. Um, the geese and crocodiles might also join the war, but maybe against the, um, the alligators and ducks, depending on how long um, the war actually lasts. Um, now on to weather. Today, what there are er, the global warming still going on. People are barely doing anything to stop it. We are probably all going to end up in the future where we're, we're covered in rain and water, or and uh, you're still driving more species to extinction and destroying rainforests. And uh, also today will be not high in the upper 80s and possibly 90s. You have, uh, you have no chance at all of rain. So it's a sunny. Okay, so it's a sunny day out today. There's not too many cars around. 
so people are getting out of their cars, going to work. Um, I guess it's a pretty day out uh, on a helicopter. Not, again, not that much traffic at all. And I guess that's it. It's a normal day. All right. And so we do have an update on the um, on the war between the ducks and the alligators. And uh, it turns out they are fighting on the moon. Now, they are trying to get the moon to crash into Earth to try to kill all of the humans. Now, why they are fighting over it, nobody knows. But thank you for watching Jam Kept News. I'm your host, or side host, Kai Allen. And I am your host, Parker Golub. We have exactly three days until the moon crashes into Earth. Prepare yourselves. Your last moments are coming. Womp womp. Welcome to Jam Camp News. I am your host, Jonah Ahern, and with me is... Ghost Malcolm. Ghost Malcolm died recently and is still getting used to the ghost world, but is still employed here at Jam Camp News because we will not exclude those who can still work for us. I died 238 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> but they are still employed. Um, don't ask questions, please. So... Um, I don't know about you, Malcolm. I, I don't know if you live at the studio or not, but on the way to work today, I saw some really cute ducks. And I, I don't know. They were they blew my mind. They were really cute, but they were not on fire. Um, they were going to be on fire soon. But Well, that's a funny coincidence because that. last night I ate th three cute ducks. Okay, I dislike Malcolm even more now, but okay, here we go. So, um, we, we actually just got a story about, uh, Drew. Um, I don't know if anyone has heard of him, but, um, he is a otherworldly deity that, um, that has been known to, uh, randomly appear on different worlds as a different reincarnation with the exact same appearance. And, um, Drew... Uh, last night appeared on Earth and took the form of um, this this man. Uh, he's a 20 year, 21 year old man, and um, uh, he was working for Jam Camp until he attempted to sabotage our news report and burn down the entire studio. We did manage to lock him up, but he recently escaped and has begun wreaking havoc all over the world. There is fire everywhere, and um, yes, it's it's terrible. Um, uh, Russia is taking military actions, and we don't have any more on that yet, but we might be able to get back to you later in this report. And now I will hand it over to my field reporter, um, Malcolm. Three, two, one, and we're on. Are we going? Okay, I'm the field uh, host, uh, Schmorkin Plarkin. Anyway, so I was going to interview little brother who is now on a rampage and biting people and eating them and eating a lot of people. Anyway, but I don't see him anywhere. I, I, I guess he might have mistaken. I, I don't know. Ah! Oh my god! Okay! Little brother, how are you doing? I'm hungry. I understand that. And why do you feel that you're eating so many people? Because they're yummy. Indeed they are. And just this is for our, our chefs. How yummy are they? They're so good. They, they should cook them like daily. Really? That's interesting. It's interesting that you say daily because I noticed the cooks are not here today. Perhaps it's because they didn't come in because they couldn't get to work. That's probably because it's burning outside. Well, we're going to send that to our meteorologist. Okay.
everything out here is looking very hot because everything's burning and it's all hot and it's super fiery. I, I don't know what's happening, but it's really hot. So this is changing the seasons uh, just a tiny bit. Winter in Alaska is no more. There's no more snow. Elves have died off, so is Santa. Um, penguins have also died off, sadly. No more penguin dinners for me. Um, it's also been killing a few people. The flames have engulfed this building, but it's fine because it's fireproof. And it hasn't been sunny in a while because of all the, the smoke everywhere. So, and then we're having, for, for an unexplainable reason, we're having asteroids starting to hit Earth and some giant fireballs coming down on random buildings, you know. So that's it for today. Heading over to the eye in the sky. Hello. Thank you. We are, we are here outside. I am in my helicopter. But we have a new electric helicopter that does not make any noise anymore, thankfully. Uh, I'm looking at the ruins that I think Drew and the little brother have made. There is a random pipe and some, I don't know, plastic and a lot of wood and a couch cushion. And then over here we have some cars. They all seem to slow down at this sidewalk right here see this one it's going at a normal pace and then hits the sidewalk light and it starts slowing down i am wondering what that is but i have no idea i will hopefully figure it out by tomorrow now let's go back to the anchor well we're back and so now we're going to talk about our latest news on the drew story well, Drew is on the moon, which is a little troubling, and now we think we have reason to believe that scientists have discovered that they, Drew has caused not only the dinosaurs' mass extinction, but all of them. And, but, oh, oh no, oh, I'm getting late, our, our latest news is Russia has blown up the moon to partly destroy him or get him back in his... Drew Cage, but I'm ra seeing that asteroids are raining down, and it looks like that's it for us. Oh well, well I'm a ghost, so I'll survive. But see you later. And thank you very much. This is Jam Camp News. I'm Jonah Ahern, and with me today was Malcolm, <laughs> Ghost Malcolm. Thank you. Have a nice day. She's the other news answer, and her <laughs> name is. New La La. No, my name is New Lala Ahern. So basically, our story is Kai in Spicy Noodles. Take it away, Zebra. <laughs> okay, so basically, like, Kai, this kid at our camp, he was like, oh my gosh, like at lunch, literally, he was eating. Can you believe it? At spicy lunch, noodles. He was eating spicy noodles, and then, like, here, you say the part about his lips, and then I'll talk about how I think he was acting. Okay, so basically, he was eating, Kai, this kid named Kai, was eating noodles. And they were ghost pepper, hot, spicy noodles. So basically, he ate them, and he ate the whole yogurt container of them. And his lips were... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so basically, he was like, oh my gosh, his, his lips were very orange. Oh, so today, we are going to be talking about... Hey, bestie! Hey, bestie! Today we're gonna be going under the table. <laughs> oh no, our table is broken. <laughs> 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 oh my bad.